All right, guys, Ivan here with another video, and yeah, it's another video about Wesley Visters. And some of you will say I'm getting too obsessed with him, and you may just be right, actually. <laughs> this is the third video about Wesley, so maybe it's a little bit too much, but I don't really care. I mean, the reason why I made this YouTube channel was, of course, it was about money, sure, I can't lie, but the reason was because I wanted to share my thoughts with, with somebody. I don't have many friends that follow bodybuilding culture as much as I do. So, I mean, if I can share my thoughts with the whole world, why not do it? Why not? I mean, now I can speak English, so why the hell not? And uh, I saw this video of Wesley Wissers. It's a really high quality footage of him at Iron Classic Ohio and also some hotel room footage of him getting ready for pre-judging. So I paused the video right here because I wanted to show you this particular... It's not a pose, it's, he's just standing there completely relaxed. But you can also see that he's not as defined as he should be. And the thing is... Today's bodybuilding is mainly about conditioning. I mean, that's not the most important thing, of course, but it is very, very necessary. And you cannot win if you are not on that conditioning level. There is like a certain point where it doesn't really matter if you are a few percents uh, more peeled or not. You're not going to lose a show because of that. But you need to get to that level, the where these other top guys are. And I'm going to compare him now to the top pros, to, to top classic physical competitors. I'm not going to compare him to those guys that were 8th, ninth, you know, 6th place or whatever. Because that's not Wesley. I mean, we all want him to win the Mr. Olympia, to be the best classic physique guy. Let's be honest, he has what it takes. He just needs to bring conditioning and a couple of more body parts. But we're going to talk about that later. Now, let's see how George Peterson is looking in his relaxed state before the competition. So this was actually a few days before the competition. And here you can see, I mean, he's not my favorite classic physique guy. He doesn't have those lines. I don't really like his structure and everything. But you can see the conditioning. You can see the difference. He's much harder, much, much more conditioned. And that's what Wesley needs to bring. I mean, it's pretty much obvious. He, he cannot win shows like that. And he's now taking a full year off because he wants to grow, to build, I mean, a lot. Sure, that's going to be helpful, definitely. But if he brings the same conditioning next time, he's going to lose again. And that's, in my opinion, the only reason why he placed so bad. Because he didn't have the conditioning, as most of these top guys had. Let's go with the next part of this video. So, right now you can see his back from this angle. And does this look peeled to the bone to you? I don't care how big of a fan of him you are, or even if you are from Netherlands. You cannot say that this is top-notch conditioning. This looks pretty off-season to me. Honestly, guys. I mean, you, when you look at this pose, you want to see skinless body. You want to see basically only muscle with paper-thin skin. The thing is, right now, in today's era of bodybuilding, that's how things are. You need to show conditioning, you need to get on that level where the other top guys are. And like, if he maybe had a bit bigger legs, or I don't know, maybe a lower attached lats, he maybe would be 7th place or 8th place. But who cares about, you know, a few places at that level. It doesn't matter if he's 10th or 8th. He needs to be top guy. He needs to be Mr. Olympia eventually. Because that's what you all want to see. He has the potential. He has those classic lines, perfect classic structure. So let's compare him to Steve Lorius, who is one of the top classic physique guys. Let's see what is his back looking like off the stage. Boom! There you go. This is top classic physique back. This is what you want to see. And as far as also glutes and hamstrings and everything. This is the level of conditioning that Wesley needs to bring. I know that most of you guys are like, well, Arnold wasn't this defined. But Arnold competed in 70s and 80s. You know, he wasn't in, in today's era. If he was, he would be as conditioned as this guy. For sure. If he had the knowledge and the tools and everything, he would be. So right now, bodybuilding of today and classic physique is also part of bodybuilding. is different, you know. It is what it is. And I like it. I like it. I like to see great conditioning. If you can see more muscle, why wouldn't you see it? Why would you like to see water and fat on a body? You don't want to see that. All you want to see is muscle. So get peeled. Get completely peeled. Let's go with the next part. So now we're gonna watch his free posing routine in a very, very high quality video. And don't misunderstand me, guys. I'm a huge fan of Wesley. And you can see a completely classic physique. All the way, you know, classic. As classic as it gets. 
but the conditioning is mediocre and the legs are not quite there also his lats are too highly inserted but i don't think that's too much of an issue if he just manages to do hide it a little bit with different kind of poses it wouldn't really be a problem but the main thing that i i don't like is conditioning he, he just needs to bring that new level of conditioning and now you can see it you can see uh his skin on his glutes i look at it now i'm gonna pause it right there so pay attention to it right now look okay can you see it can you see the the glutes and the hamstrings judges don't like to see that judges do not like to see wrinkles and water and fat here sure it looks a little bit better when he flexes it but still it's not there i mean you can see the wrinkles you can see the fat i mean he is not completely shredded he needs to work a lot more on it let's go with the next part all right so very good posing routine he is using the advantage of his resemblance of arnold schwarzenegger himself so Fans love this. Fans love this so much, but the judges don't care about it at all. They just don't. Judges have their criteria. And looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger is not something they really care about. They want to see great conditioning, great proportions, great symmetry. You know, you know what judges want to see. So let's see this comparison around here. This is just my numerical order. It's not a call out. <laughs> can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, sure, I can see it. Look, yeah, the, the quads, the quads, look at the legs, look at the development, the inner part, the, the sweep, look at the conditioning. Like, the conditioning is probably the, the, the biggest thing that I see. I don't really care that much about development, because these guys are all very, very muscular, but, you know, the, the conditioning, the veins, the vascularity, the dryness, the, the, the tightness of those legs is just another level. And I know nobody said that Wesley should have won the show, but I'm just talking about uh, Wesley achieving his maximum potential. So what I'm saying is he needs a lot more work to do. And I don't like his traps, also his shoulders, they're looking kind of too big. They make him look too blocky. So for that reason, Steve is looking more aesthetically pleasing, right? But the conditioning, the conditioning is the game. So let's see now how does it look like when they both, you know, get into the pose fully. And I think it's even worse now. You can see how better Steve is. So it's just another level. I mean, not only the size. Sure, the size can be improved on Wesley, for sure, of the quads. But the thing is, the conditioning is his main problem, in my book. And also some things like uh, you know low the, the lats i mean look at how high his lats are inserted they, they make his stomach look so long it's just not perfect but i don't think judges will care that much about that if he brings great condition if he brings great conditioning with all the te the other things that he has he's gonna crack the top i don't know maybe top five at the mr olympia easily and that's something i would like to see i would love to see him be a top competitor so let's go through all these other poses. And the thing about Wesley is that he really pops out out of the crowd because he's just so tall and so broad. He, he's the biggest guy here by far. He's literally dwarfing all these other guys. This is a good pose for him, except for the legs. Um, from the back, he has the genetics, he has the potential, the shape is there. There's a, there's a great Christmas tree as well and everything is there. He just needs to bring that conditioning on that level, which I have said a million times in this video. And you're probably cursing me, shut the hell up about the conditioning. <laughs> but it really is, it really is the issue. Let's, let's, let's face it, guys, let's be real. That's the problem for him. So especially, you know, his lower body and his conditioning. So if you're going to be a bit more specific. And there was another thing that really jumped out for me, and that's his abs. I mean, most of these guys today don't really have perfect, uh, perfectly developed abs. But this is not just a matter of conditioning. This is actually the matter of development. His abs are just not showing any separation, any development. It just looks uh, like open class bodybuilding. I mean, if you ask me, classic physique should have amazing ab development. Stomach should be not only tight, not only tight waist, but also very beautiful, symmetrical and developed abs. For example, like here, 1993 version of Flex Wheeler is, in my opinion, probably the best representation of what classic physique should be. And Flex had amazing abs, so why can't we see this today? Is that so hard to have great abs? Come on, guys, come on, we all know that's not that hard. Does Wesley even do abs? 
Tell me in the comment section below if you know whether he trains his apps in his workout videos, if you follow him. I don't really know, honestly. Can't we see these kind of apps, Milos Sharchev? I mean, this is not that hard to develop, and it looks so beautiful, so aesthetically pleasing. I can understand not seeing this in the open, but in classic, come on guys, let's be real. Let's just see proper abs, beautiful stomachs. Not only vacuum, not only tight waist and small waist compared to shoulders, but beautifully developed abs, that's also very important. If we can see something like this, I mean, look at this, gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful, I want to see this again. Don't you? And what do you guys think? If he actually manages to pull that conditioning together and make it perfect, what place would he get at the Classic Physique Mr. Olympia? Would he be top 5, top 3? Would he win the show? What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, like the video. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.